Hi kids, my name is David and I'm one of the new uh, teachers for New Life Kids Church. And this week we're going to be continuing through our book, which is called, yep, One Kings, or First Kings, if you want to call it that. And we're actually going to be going through a very, very important part in First Kings, which um, is actually a few chapters it takes. It's from chapters 5 to about 9, where it talks about the building of the temple of God, which, yeah, if you are listening... The king right now is, who is it? Yep, it's King Solomon. King Solomon, who last week we heard um, pray to God that he could have wisdom. And through this wisdom, he decided to build God's temple. And so today we're going to be uh, continuing through our memory verse. And then we're going to be uh, listening to a Bible story. And then later on, we're going to be doing our craft. where We're going to be talking a bit more uh, about what's happening. But before I go... I just want to talk about, um, we always tend to talk about Jesus a lot um, when we do kids' church. And maybe some, some of you kids are maybe a bit sick of hearing about Jesus. Well, well the, the entire Bible is about Jesus and it's no different for today. And so later on, we're going to be talking about how the temple um, and King Solomon building the temple relates to Jesus. Um, I'll see you later. Goodbye. If any one of you lacks wisdom, he should talk to God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it shall be given to him. James chapter 1 verse 5. Okay, now let's do it one more time. If any one of you lacks wisdom, he should talk to God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it shall be given to him. James chapter one, verse five. There is something that's better than the latest toy. There is something that never can be destroyed It's worth more than jewels and gold Or anything money can buy W-I-S-T-O-M spells wisdom I need it W-I-S-T-O-M In your word I find it I need your wisdom Lord this day Left to my I always tend to go astray But in the Bible You reveal your perfect way You teach me to think like you Instead of being a fool I want to love it, live it, learn it, read it W-I-S-T-O-M I want to know it, think it, speak it, breathe it Yeah, 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 yeah W-I-S-T-O-M spells wisdom And I need it W-I-S-T-O-M In your word, I find it Hi kids, now we're going to be doing our craft and we're going to try and build Solomon's temple that he built 
uh, for God. And you're going to try and build your own, actually. And you're going to be needing that piece of paper that you guys have, um, the ruler and a pencil, just to mark some measurements. So what we're going to be doing is measuring just a couple things. So we're going to try and do four centimeters from one side, just over here, just to mark four centimeters. And then we're going to do four centimeters from here to there. And then we're just going to be drawing some lines just to cut out. So we're going to do four centimeters across. And then we're going to do four centimeters downwards from there. And then we're going to be drawing those lines that connect them. So it'll kind of look something like this. Something like that. And now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So we're going to do at the top of the page, four centimeters, just mark a dot. And then four centimeters, another one, another dot. So we're doing that on the other side. Now we're going to connect these two and make a line right there. Try and take your time with this. Okay, so now that we've had uh, these two measurements, now we can get our scissors and we can cut them out. We can just cut around the lines. Now you should have something like this. It's going to have this sort of a shape. Okay. Now the next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to try and fold this bottom piece. We're not going to fold too much, but we're going to fold enough so that your um, pillars out of the um, uh, toilet paper can can fit there. So we're just going to just, just fold it a little bit. Not fold it too much. And we're going to be folding it forwards. So it'll look like this. That it'll look like that. So then our pillars have something to stand on. Okay, now like I said before at the start of this craft, this craft is pretty special where you guys can make your own designs out of the temple. So you can you can draw your own um designs on the temple, you can draw circles, you can draw squares, all kinds of shapes, um, little designs. But just before you do, do designs, make sure that on the sides, you don't do too much designs because later the, the pillars are going to be covering them up. So do your designs, uh, but just keep in mind that the pillars are probably going to be covering some of the colouring up or maybe your designs that you're going to do later. Okay. So now, now that said, now we're going to get our Solomon, our little Solomon here, King Solomon, and we're going to try and cut him out.
Now we're going to be trying to colour in our pillars. Now keep in mind, only one side of the pillars are going to be facing and you're really only going to need, only going to, need to colour uh, one side of the pillars. And so you can be using paint, textures, uh, whatever you guys want. Uh, so I'm just going to use textures for now. Um, and yeah. Okay, so now we have them uh, colored in. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to glue. And so hopefully by now uh, you guys have designed uh, some of your um, your temples. You've done some shapes or some coloring in or whatever whatever you want to do. And so now we're going to get some glue. And so I'm going to put Solomon right in the middle of just below. I'm going to put Solomon right here. Just right there. And then we're going to glue the other side of the glue stick. Make sure there's plenty of glue. And so now we're going to be putting this our pillars on the page probably best to do it like this uh, downwards
And then over time, you have your temple right there. So kids, this is probably what um, the end uh, craft should look like. Um, it's designed. Um, you can see Solomon, he's all colored, colorful and he's got his door there uh, and the temple can stand by itself with the pillars. Um, yours is probably better than mine. I needed some help to do this. <laughs> um, but children, I just wanted to talk about um, just the temple. Uh, the temple was built um, for a place for God to dwell with his people where he could be worshipped and they could, uh, God's people could pray to God. Um, and this is all to symbolize the church. And no, the church is not a building that we come on Sunday. Um, the church is something a bit more, a bit more special. It's the gathering of God's people together. And when we gather together um, in God's name, uh, we can worship and praise God. And the church will, will be with God forever. Um, unlike this temple that was sadly destroyed uh, and broken. And even King Solomon over here, although he loved God, um, he turned his back from God and he um, uh, was disobedient. Um, but that just shows us the true king, which is Jesus. Uh, he never failed. Um, and he built God's church and he still holds God's church together now. Um, he is our king.